Hello, my name is James Castigar, District Sales Manager with RayPack. This video will provide a general overview for your new XFIRE to include the component locations and their functions. The XFIRE family has five model sizes. Today we will be looking at the WH7850A. Located at the rear of the XFIRE is the rating plate with your unit serial number, model number, and application designation, H for hydronic and WH for water heater. Hydronic boilers will show the BTU input and output. Water heaters will show the BTU input only. The unit's natural or propane gas connection. The vent connection. WH units will have a non-metallic vent limit switch. Your unit will have the standard air intake access panel or an optional direct vent. Condensate trap with sensor. Located at the top of the unit are the inlet and outlet water connections, the circulating pump on the inlet side, hydronic heating units are standard with cast iron pump, temperature and pressure gauge or TMP gauge indicates water pressure and temperature in the unit, pressure relief valve or PRV relieves pressure in the unit when the water pressure exceeds the rated limit. Located at the front of the X-Fire, there are two combustion air louvers the Versa IC display, and the control bezel cover. Platform ignition module, or PIM, a three try is standard, single try is optional. The PIM incorporates the ignition safety device and has a built-in manual reset high water temperature limit. The Versa control board, and the Dunes gas valve. Your unit may have an optional high gas pressure switch. If the gas pressure regulator in the valve fails, the high gas pressure switch automatically shuts down the unit. The high gas pressure switch is set at a manifold pressure of 3.0 inches water column for natural or propane gas. Or an optional low gas pressure switch. Automatically shuts down the unit if the gas supply to the unit drops below the factory setting of 3.0 inches water column for natural or propane gas. Flame sensor probe. The direct spark igniter or DSI with high tension direct spark cable. Burner door limit, a fixed setting manual reset limit that will trip if the temperature in the combustion chamber becomes excessive. The blower combustion air fan. Intake air filter box and air filter. The air filter should be inspected quarterly and changed as needed. Located on the left side of the unit. The flow switch, which verifies flow through the heat exchanger. Inlet and outlet water temperature sensors. Your unit may have an optional low water cutoff. The low water cutoff sensor confirms no air is present in the heat exchanger. The low water cutoff board has a red LED light. If the unit is running properly and there is no air in the water lines, the red light will remain lit. There is a test button and reset button on the front of the unit. The test button confirms that the low water cutoff is working. The reset button reestablishes the low water cutoff after air has been purged from the water lines. A block vent pressure switch is standard. This shuts the unit down if the vent pressure rises to a level indicating that the flue gases cannot discharge to the atmosphere. Your unit may have an optional automatic reset high water temperature limit. If the temperature exceeds the limit, it will shut down the unit. When the system temperature drops below set point, it will reset automatically. Optional manual reset high water temperature limit. Must be manually reset if the temperature exceeds limit. Thank you for watching this video. For more information about your product, visit us at raypack.com. Please subscribe to the Raypack channel on YouTube for additional videos.